Using ad group IDs in Google Ads can help you track where you're getting sales or conversions or leads or what have you. Where they're coming from, you know, which ad group is performing the best, especially if you're using UTM tracking, which is just adding some parameters at the end of a URL so that it passes data along. You can then capture that data and track it back to you know, the ad and the keyword in the ad group that people originally clicked on when they became a lead or a sale for your business. So let's take a look at how to find your ad group ID in Google Ads. And to do that, we're going to come over here to campaigns. Um, it's probably best to select whatever campaign you're interested in, although you can just see all of the live ad groups at once if you want. But once you're in campaigns from the campaigns drop down, you'll select ad groups right here then you should see your ad groups and some data for those ad groups. But we're not seeing any ID numbers or anything here. So to see that information, we're gonna to need to click on the columns option right here. Then we can click on modify columns. Then it's gonna give us this search bar at the top. This is where you can just type in ID. And you'll see it actually has the campaign ID and the ad group ID. We'll just focus on the ad group ID for right now. If we click on this, you'll see now it's added to the end of this list of metrics that we can look at. And if we click apply, then we'll be able to just scroll over here. Now we will see the ad group ID. So this is the unique ID number for each ad group in our account. And these numbers help track where sales, clicks, conversions, all that is actually coming from. So when you set up UTM tracking, you'll be able to pass this data to wherever you're capturing your lead information. So if you have a form on your web page and it's able to capture UTM data on, you know, on that page, then when somebody fills out the form on your website, it's going to capture this unique ad group ID then you can come back and say, oh, okay, look, all of our sales and conversions are coming from this one ad group. Nothing's really coming from these other three. So this is where we want to focus all of our time, energy, money, and attention, right? So it's pretty straightforward. It's just a matter of going over to your ad groups, modifying the columns, making sure you have this one set up, and then you can easily capture and track and see what's going on with each of your ad groups by their ID number. And again, you can do the same thing with campaigns, uh, just like we did, you know, we saw when we were modifying these columns that there's also the option for the campaign ID. And we can add that in. And we would be able to see what campaign and ad group leads and sales are coming from. So I hope you found that helpful. If there's anything you did have questions about, don't hesitate to reach out and just drop your questions in the comment section down below and I'll be sure to get back to them there. Look, if you're the type of person that just doesn't even want to deal with Google Ads anymore, <laughs> then you can always reach out to me. Uh, my company is Missoula SEO Geek. I'll leave a link to my website down below, but we do manage Google Ads for different companies and different industries and you can come learn about what we do, what makes us unique. You can even read some of the testimonials from some businesses that we've taken from zero to over a million in revenue like this one here and really just see that you know this is the type of thing that's going to explode your business growth so feel free to reach out you can always give us a call or contact us through our website and look forward to working with you